find that to be a very stressful thing here. We're inside the cubic, which is my favorite thing to do lately. Today will be stressful for Shugo. Alright, so basically how I feel about this is it's like a great free way to get really good stats. So if you're not doing this already, you should be. Um, if you have an attack uh, speed transformation, I would suggest using it. And if you have attack speed gloves, I would suggest using them as well. Because you'll hit that much faster and finish that much quicker. Now, if you play Sin, you'll recognize the mechanics of this. Um, you basically put runes on things, and each rune kind of ramps up. You'll see at the top here on the left, they change colors. When it gets to five, it turns bright red, and you do your little explode rune skill. And it does maximum damage if you do it when it's red. You can do it at any time, but if you really want to get the most bang for your buck, you want to do it at the time when it's red. And of course you have the number four skill, which just kind of explodes one thing a whole bunch. But it's a very simple instance, and you can get a lot of stats, so... And sometimes you'll see over here by Z Sky uh, a Shugo or a Cube. Sometimes just the Shugo, sometimes just the Cube. I don't know what makes them spawn and what makes them not spawn, but um, if you do see that, you'll get an extra Cube, which is lovely. A little bit of extra stats. Now, I like to kill the Shulak pirates pilots first. I don't know why I just do. Okay. Now we've got Ziska here and Zatage there, who both um, do the whole bomb thing, very much like the Luna. Um, when you're doing your number one skill, you kind of get stuck in that animation, so you want to be really careful not to get stuck near the bomb dudes when that's happening, if you have like low health, because you'll end up getting exploded, and that's never good. I might not make it! No, I did. Oh. Okay, let's I'm going to stay here because I'm healed full. <coughs> Excuse me. And having one of them isn't so bad because you can kind of keep your eye on them. But when there's both of them, you have to keep your eye on both. So, Alright, same thing like in the Luna Instance. You want to kill the gunner so that you can get the cannon. So I just throw these guys a couple of smacks. Five. And I kill that guy. Now, the thing that does the most damage to the store is your uh, number four skill, and not so much the AoE. But you don't want to use the, the four skill. I use it one time on the door um, because I want to have it up in time for when the door goes down so I can just kill the guy on the other side. Because I don't want to have to worry about something else spawning and taking up my time. And this always feels like it does enough damage, just the one time. Now, I'm pretty tanky as far as um, taking damage goes, but I've done this on, you know, other tunes that are not so tanky. Um, you just have to pay attention to your health. Like, pay attention to when you have your little cooldowns and everything ready. Um, because basically all I do is I just hang out underneath this guy. Normally what I would do is every time, you know, one of the bombs comes out, I go run it over to those and, you know, get rid of them. In this instance, I don't really do that. Um, I just hang out under here and make sure that I'm healed in time to not die. But when you're not as, when you're not super tanky, that can be a little bit difficult. So just keep an eye on your health, keep an eye on your cooldowns, 
And the good news is, is uh, the bubbles all appear like right next to you. So if you get in trouble, just run to a bubble. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And you're gonna get stunned and you're gonna get yoinked and that's, you know, that's nature of the beast and that's okay. I'd say when you get below 50% health, use your health, but, you know, use it at your discretion. Uh, that wasn't red. You see, I've got bubbles all around me. Like, I don't really need to move. I move sometimes here just so I can get a nice free shot at this guy, but not necessary. And you have until 51 minutes to get S rank. So, as you can see, we have plenty of time. And plenty of health. We're doing good. Okay, we're getting down. We're maybe we'll start thinking about healing. We're gonna get stunned here. Okay, so we don't want to get stunned twice in a row, so we're gonna just pick up some bubbles. And re add our dude. There. Easy. See? And now we have a cooldown to heal ourselves, so that's fine too. It's not the most crazy gameplay or the biggest thinking that you'll ever have to do, but for some free stats, it's totally worth it. there. See, you can imagine trying to like stop all these guys from hitting you and like despawning the bombs and all that. It'd just be a headache that you really don't care about. <laughs> so just standing under here is much easier. It's not, you know, it's messy, but it gets the job done. And then you run into all the bubbles! I like running into the bubbles before I loot. Don't at me. Today will be stressful for Shugos. All right. Let's see what we got. Woohoo! Let's pull this up while we're at it. I don't think we had a, a fourth cube, but I'm going to double check just in case. Nice! Okay, so Trico's Blessing. We're getting super close to maxing that out. When it gets maxed out, okay, in case you don't know how this works, let's check for our cube. <laughs> okay, no cubes. Alright, so you get the bronze, the silver, and the gold. And I thought if you got a whole bunch of golds, like it would slowly fill up all of them. But that's not how it works. Like I bought some golds, and I filled up my gold one. And now I'm working on filling up. I have to get silver drops and I have to get bronze drops to fill these up. So if you get silver and bronze, that's how you get them to fill up. So it takes a little bit more time and you have to do, like you can only buy your way into so many stats. You actually have to run the instance. You actually have to kill some leaders. Um, but that's okay. I mean, you know, doing your own work is perfectly fine. But so, see how you have three different ones so you can buy some gold ones which is great like if I buy two more I'll be capped on my magical attack but I have to get silver and I have to get bronze on my own which is fine easy peasy and before you go back outside do your normal PvP stuff because it's gonna get ugly Nine times out of ten, you're going to be running into a whole bunch of Elios or Asmos, depending on your faction. Haha, but in this case, we're fine. And I don't know who that guy is. I'm not going to attack him. That was easy. 
but she keeps me alive. She's the beast in my bones. She gets everything she wants when she gets me alone, like it's nothing. She got two little horns and they give me a little bit.